See, many techniques like this here at the Galactic Paper Spaceship Grand Prix. It's the fluting at the tail that gives the extra level... Where's the fast-forward option on this? Calls it the Manta Stinger oh, Mark II. never mind. Now, this is live. <clears throat> Made of only a single sheet of uncut A4 paper, the Manta Stinger has shattered Done. records. Now to see if this which works. Mathematicians have called technically oh, impossible. a call. Took his team 50 years and Hello, this is Jet Sakuli. How may I help you? Hey, JJ! It's me, buddy, Mick! How's it going? Oh, Mick. I'm doing something very important. Oh, should I call back? I'm actually doing stuff too. Listen to this. I decided I was gonna get into making paper spaceships. Well, actually, first I was gonna get into anti-gravity yo-yos, but then I saw this galactic paper spaceship whatever, and I think I really- That is also what I'm up to. Oh man, what are the coincidences? We should meet up later at some party or cafe or something to compare our work. Wait. I-I said- Vesva's birthday party. Huh? No, I did not forget. Vesva's birthday party is not until 7 p.m. tomorrow. No! Yeah. Did the stream gonna give me a heart attack? As GP tradition, that bomb marks the 24.5th hour of our competition. It is now 6.30 p.m. on April 1st. Mick, I will have to call you back. Please be sure to be here within the hour. You know the way. Huh? But- Ha! Ah. There you are. Alright, let's see. Recipe for Vespa's Surprise Birthday Party by Jet. Item 1, Jet. Item 2, Snacks. Item 3, Convince Vespa you forgot when her birthday was so that she doesn't think you're planning a party. Ha ha! Item 4, Tell Vespa that you want to go to the Hover Car Museum on her birthday, but your car is at Mix, so she needs to pick you up. Yes, I believe everything has gone smoothly so far. Except... Hmm. Item 5, Invite Vespa's friends. Well, this is quite the pickle. Planning a party in half an hour? Some would say that it can't be done. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned here, somewhere underneath all these paper spaceships. But that would take time. So instead, it's ringing. Hello? Hello, comms? Hello, comms? Keep ringing. Ha! Hello, this is Jet's house. Jet speaking. How may I help you? Hey, hey, Jay, it's me again. Mick, are you on your way? No. I mean, yes, but that's not why I'm calling. Then why are you calling? Listen, I just wanted to tell you that I'm on my way. Anyway, we were talking about paper spaceships, and I thought, hey, how come nobody's built a car out of paper yet? It'd be pretty cheap, right? Sell like gangbusters. So I spent a few dozen hours drawing up some plans, a business model or two, and- Mick, this is very interesting, and I'm going to want to know about how I can get in on the ground floor of this business venture later, but we have something more important to deal with in this moment. The party that is in 30 minutes. Yay! You didn't tell me you had a party in 30 minutes. Did you forget as well? Uh, forget what? Vespa's birthday party. Oh! Uh, no! Yeah, I totally didn't forget. In fact, I'm halfway there already. Good. Actually, hold on a sec. Do you think there's something wrong with the phone books idea? Because I figured people sell antique furniture, right? So why not antique phone books? And your boss friend didn't really like that for some reason. It's just that I did a lot of dumpster diving and I just got a whole bunch of tetanus just for- Mick, I have to make a call on the other line. I will see you here. Jet out. Now, to run this decryption software, embed a virus or two, and jet in. Hello, who is this? It is Jet Sekuliak. You may know me from being kept under Dark Matter's supervision for the past five years. Agent W, we need your full attention here. Yes, fine, just give me a moment. Uh, Sekuliak, how on earth did you get this signal? Again? I could have sworn I ordered communications to shovel down on our comms encryption after the last time. Whoever you ordered to do that did not do a very good job. I was able to access your personal comms channel in less than a minute. But your poor security is not why I called, Agent Wire. Alright, out with it then. I am calling to invite you to a party. A party? Yes, it is today, the 1st of April, according to the Terran calendar. The 1st of I- <sighs> We still have eyes on you, Sekuliak. Just because we've eased up a little because of good behavior doesn't mean you can interrupt my workday with juvenile pranks. Agent. Agent! Put that down for a moment. I'll be right there. But Agent W, this is highly explosive. Trust me, Agent. I am more explosive at this moment than that bomb will ever be. Agent Wire, I think you have misunderstood. The only misunderstanding here is you knowing your place, Sukuliak. I will not be made a fool of, April or otherwise. Do you hear me? That was not my intention. Then what are you calling me for? And don't even think about a cover-up. 
I have no reason to lie. Out with it, then. The party is for Detective Ilke. She is 39 years old today, and I have called to invite you to a small get-together. There will be cake, as Vespa is a notorious sweet tooth. Unbelievable. Ah, she has hung up on me. Hello, this is Jet. Yeah, hey, hey Jet, it's Mick again. Mick, I thought you said that you were five minutes away. Yeah, I'm still just looking for your place. You said that ten minutes ago. <laughs> you know me, Jay. I've got bad time management skills. Hey, speaking of which, how many wheels does your place have? None. Well, I can get you some wheels easy. Just give me uh, uh, You said your place has got no wheels? That's like, exaggerating? Like you only have a few, right? No. While hyperbole may be my 213th worst habit, I am not exaggerating. Hyperion apartments are not on wheels. Wait, apartment? Who said anything about an apartment? The apartment where I live. The apartment where I will be hosting the party. That apartment. Oh, I just thought... So when you said you lived on Lakeview, you meant, like, a street named that? Yes, Lakeview Street. <laughs> oh, that explains it. Ooh, for a minute there, I thought you meant like your place had a view of a lake, you know? So I went and looked for the only lake I could find, and basically all there is around it is a big junkyard, so I guess that's not it, is what you're saying. Mick. Yeah? There are no lakes in Hyperion City. Yeah, yeah, I know. Somehow got it in my head that you lived in Valus Marinarius. Weird, right? I have never lived in Valus Marinarius. I did not last week. And I did not three weeks before, when you got lost on your way to my apartment for the Little Debbie Troll Doll customization marathon. Oh man, that was such a good marathon. I like the part where she totally restructured the troll's body and turned it into this weird five-legged goat. That was sick. But yeah, anyway, do you think this party's still going to be going on in like 14 hours? Because that's how long it's going to take me to get there. The old hover cycle's not as zippy as he used to be. Hey yo, this is private property. <laughs> Get out of my junkyard! <laughs> Gotta go, JJ! Love you! See you in 14 hours! Mick! Only 15 minutes remain. I have to find someone, but... Val's Vicky is busy with her wife. The Prince of Mars said he could not afford a ride over. Cecil Kanagama wanted to come, but then he started talking about what he wanted to bring, and I decided it was better not to. If I get desperate enough, I might have to invite Agent F. I know he has been listening in on my comm calls, but I do not think Vespa would like me to invite him either. Ah, uh, no. There is one other person I can think of that I could invite. God damn it, for the last time I told you not- I'm not taking calls today. You are now. This is Jet, and I have a question for you. Sorry, I am not really in the mood for another phone scam either. Wait, Jet? Like, V's secretary? We well, talked before, right? Yes. Alright, jeez. I didn't think you guys would call soon, but... Vessel's birthday party is in five minutes. Would you like to come? Would I want to... What? In, in five minutes? It's okay if you are a little late. So as long as you bring snacks and also yourself. Listen, if this is some stupid April Fool's joke, I'm, I'm gonna... I do not know what an April Fool's is, but I assure you that I am not joking. Vessel's birthday is in a few... minutes. Well, the answer is still no. But... Look, I know you know we broke up, and also I can tell I'm your last resort, so... <sighs> What's all this about? A, a favor or something? There's nothing else to it. It is simply her birthday party and I'm extending an invitation to you. Uh, hey, look, Jet, I just can't do it. Reason one, we're not on the best of terms after last time. Reason two, even if I could make it in five minutes, what am I going to do, crash her birthday party? How can you not make it in five minutes? I don't know if you know this big guy, but I'm in- In what? Reason three, in case you forgot, my stepmother is going to kill me if she sees me again, so I'd rather not try my luck, just so I can go to some ex's birthday party. Those seem good enough for you? I see. What am I supposed to do about this birthday party, then? Alright, fine. You need some wisdom? I would gladly take it. Ah. Hello? Who is it? It's Vespa. Open up. I gotta use the bathroom. Just a moment. At least Mick... <sighs> no. I do not think he'll get here in time. I hope she's not disappointed. Sakuliak! Coming. Surprise. 
Oh, no, no, you didn't. Please tell me you didn't. Oh, you actually didn't. Didn't forget your birthday? No, that you didn't throw me a big surprise party. Of course, I'm glad you didn't forget my birthday, but I was worried I was going to show up and there would be like 50 people here. Not that I even know 50 people, but that's a huge relief, honestly. It is? Yeah. You know, on the way over here, I actually got myself so worked up over the thought that I actually convinced myself you'd invite someone from Dark Matters. Like, I don't know, Sasha or <laughs> Agent F. <laughs> God, could you imagine my dad? <laughs> so you, just to be sure, you are not upset that it is just you and me and nobody else and I'm taking you somewhere for your birthday. Honestly, Jet, it's been a long day. I think just hanging out with you is enough. All right, I gotta take a piss. Be right back. Uh, sure. Oh, nice paper spaceships, by the way. Thank you. This feels too easy. Damn. Mick, hello. I'm glad that you made it, but now you need to go home. I will talk to you later. Hmm, I never been a Mick before. I've only ever been a little old Rita. I apologize. I was expecting someone else. Ah, oh, well, now that explains it. But before I forget, this was in Miss A's things before she left for something important. Now, I don't know what it was or who this Vespa person is. It says it on the note. I didn't snoop. I swear. Don't tell Mr. Ransom. Uh, anyway, I went in and looked Miss Vespa up. But when I checked, she wasn't at her place. So I figured I'd track her down and, oh, you seem like a smart guy. You get it. Here you go, then. Special delivery. But I have not ordered anything. Oh, no. I'm going to be late for stream night. I'm so sorry, Mr. Jet, who I definitely just know offhand. Not because you're famous or nothing. I got to go. Bye. Hmm. Ugh, you really need to put different soap in your bathroom. Christ. Uh, who was that? Delivery. Oh, good. It had me worried it was somebody coming for a party. Guess I'm, I thought. What is that? I do not know. The card says it's for you. Can I? Here. Does the card say anything? It just says, Happy Birthday, Vespa. Hmm. It must be from a client who knows where I live, and also knew that you were going to be here at exactly this time today. But it cannot be from Agent Wire, or Cass. Hmm. Vespa? Are you okay? Do you not like those earrings? No, they're... they're perfect, but I kinda have to pick which ones to swap them out with. Oh. Well, it is good that you have options. They do seem like they would suit you. You think so? Yes, I think silver looks very flattering on you. Thanks. Uh, we gonna go now? In just a moment. First, happy birthday, Vespa. And April Fools. Yeah, thanks. Wait, what the hell's an April Fools? I do not know. Cass told me it was today as well. Cass, why the... why were you talking to her? We have to go. If we do not go now, it might be too late. For what? I cannot tell you. Yeah. All right, weirdo. Be right there. The sun and the moon. Huh. If you've enjoyed this tale... <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> that was so soft. Oh, right? Wow. That's so, so cute. Long. Happy you birthday. Cry. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, happy, Vespa. Happy birthday, Vespa. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, good job, guys. Well. They're friends. Congrats, guys, by the way. Thank you. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's Hail pretty awesome. Hail you people. It's really cool because it's like, I know you guys were like, oh man, nobody listens to this. So it's cool to see that, like, there is a collective group of people. Right? Yeah, I started getting is. weepy about it the other night. <laughs> Yeah, I saw it. It's like, people like, do listen. It's, it's like, really 